What up guys, Alchemist Hunter here playing some more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. We're on episode 142, week 53 of Divas, and holy shit, I just realized, like, uh, like just before recording this, I was like, 142, I was like, holy shit, we're almost at 150 episodes, like, that's fucking crazy, like, I had a big time, like, boner when I fucking got to episode 100, and it wasn't anything crazy or special, but it was like 100 times me recording something is amazing and it's it's so fucking cool to have that feeling of that you're doing something for so long that you can reach 100 episodes of it because uh not a lot of my uh series do that so uh, it's pretty awesome uh other than that though um if you're new here please go back and check out the older stuff after you see this um night here i don't know what to expect from any night but you expect the best of the best um, but other than that, yeah, I really don't know what else to say. I want to just get this match on the road. Um, if you've missed Pyrantance Wrestling earlier this week, please go back and check that out. If you've missed, uh, Pyrantance Wrestling, uh, Hardcore Haven, please go back and check that out as well. Everything kind of leads up from there to that. And I, like I always say, everything, tape reviews always make, uh, moments that need to be finished, finished. And it's, it's amazing. Um, I enjoyed the hell out of it. But let's get into this because I'm talking too much. Too much. At least right now, I'm talking too much. Up first, Natalia takes on Daniel Taylor. And Daniel has a lot to worry about here because he's sticking on Natalia by herself here. Now, last week we saw. Or was it, or was it the week before, actually? I, let me see. Was it? Okay. So, yes, last week we did see Daniel Taylor defend her championship against Tamina and Natalia. But you had to believe that Natalia and Tamina w wanted to fight each other more than they wanted to fight Danielle. And Danielle took advantage of that and got that match done pretty damn quickly mind you so i mean now she has to worry about one of the <laughs> people that could easily take that belt away from her and that's natalia and natalia is an amazing athlete and she's damn near unstoppable when she gets going so let's see if she can get a victory over daniel taylor here tonight or daniel taylor keep that belt for another week we'll find out up second summer Rae takes on naomi and we've seen these two take each other on before and naomi didn't come out on top at all but Summer Rae wants to prove her again to Naomi that she can beat her. And Naomi would love to shut the mouth of Summer Rae. Summer Rae is really getting into the brain of Yamashita here. And Yamashita has to also watch out for Summer Rae because Summer Rae can fucking strike quick. And she can take that championship right off the waist of Yamashita here tonight. Well, not tonight, uh, at the pay-per-view. So you gotta watch out for Summer Rae. Summer Rae is a dangerous, dangerous diva. Our third match, Paige takes on Alicia Fox. Last week, last week we saw Alicia Fox. I'm um, sorry, Paige. Last week we saw Paige defeat um, J.P. York, but uh, J.P. York not here tonight for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but you never know. Like I said, everyone's always around, and somebody's somebody's always watching you. So you gotta be on your toes at all times in universe mode. But uh, Paige here tonight takes on Alicia Fox, and Alicia Fox not gonna let Paige get an easy victory over her at all. We'll see what happens later on tonight. Our fourth match, Sofia Martinez takes on Angela Lopez. Angela Lopez made her debut last week. Sofia Martinez, I believe, is to be a future champion sooner than later because she is so damn good. But tonight she has to go through Angela Lopez and get a win over Angela. Or will Angela, the newbie here, get a victory over Sofia? We'll find out later on tonight in our fourth match. Our fifth match in our main event, Yamashita takes on Rachel Raiden. I know you've seen this before again and again and again and again, but here tonight, Rachel Raiden wants to prove that she can defeat Yamashita here. The question is, can she do it? We'll find out later on tonight in our main event. But up first, Natalia takes on Daniel Taylor for the Divas Television Championship. Get ready for it. Divas starts now. Playing as Danielle here as a take on Natalia. Natalia's not gonna let this one be easy by any means. And already with that short arm clothesline, I mean, she got dazed there with that fucking clothesline, taking her right off her feet. Oh, and now that kick blasting her there. And you gotta believe Natalia is pissed. Natalia is usually always pissed. But I mean, it's my universe mode, she's always pissed. But she, for a good reason, at that at least. Oh, and already taking her out with that fucking gut buster there with those long legs of Daniel Taylor. One, and only one count. But still a big one count there. But, um, oh, Natalia is usually pissed off because she's always close to championship gold and then taken away from her just as quickly as she got it. And already Daniel Taylor with that fucking almost kryptonite crunch like move there, almost like an angle slam. Only a two again. Daniel trying to take the breath away from Natalia. And that may be the hardest thing to do 
<laughs> in this match because Natalia is fucking gifted and she can go as long as anyone else can in the <laughs> Divas locker room. Ooh. Big time back body drop there by the str much stronger Natalia. Natalia will fucking show off in that ring how strong she is. Natalia will fucking get you in a submission just as fast as she can get you for a pin. I mean, the girl is amazing. And the girl can fucking get you. She can catch you at any moment. You gotta watch out for Natalia. Natalia can steal that belt as qu quick as hell. She can get that belt right off of Daniel Taylor here tonight. But Daniel Taylor is a little spitfire she is, though. And she can really get moving. She has the height advantage here on Natalia, which may get her chances of getting rope breaks and oh, that kick right to the side of the head and nice effective moves like that as well. That kick you right in the fucking chest. She can pretty, pretty, pretty she can pretty much pinpoint wherever the hell she wants to hit you because she has those long legs. She also has, like I said, the the chance of getting a rope break or a chance of locking a better submission. But those long legs can also mess her up because. Getting in a, if Natalia can get her in a submission, it's well, well over here for uh, Daniel Taylor. Here. She has like the long, she has a longer leg, so it's e so it's much easier for Natalia to lock in those moves and be much more effective than if Daniel Taylor set one in. And right now Natalia taking advantage here of that German suplex, simple and easy. Holy shit! Natalia ain't fucking around here. Natalia is not fucking around. And Danielle kicking out at two there. But best believe this is match is not gonna be easy for Natalia or Danielle. And right now, Danielle do I can get in beat to fucking get in her ass beat here. I don't know why when you reverse a move and your others you know your um your second reversal's coming in, it takes both of them away. It's the weirdest shit in the fucking world. Daniel Taylor trying to throw hand bones there. Oh but Natalia can do that too. Oh, that's that experience that Natalia has, and you gotta watch her out. Natalia can get going. Watch this. Ooh. Using those long, I mean, not long, though, using those fucking short legs to lock her in there. Probably one of the strongest legs in the in the, in the the back here. Oh, big time close on there. And, uh, what was it? Uh, Baron Corbin just drove by my house. He's pissed that he fucking missed the NXT show. Referee. Oh, kicking out at one there. And Daniel Taylor showing that resiliency that she has as the Divas television champion. And you got to have that resiliency because she defends it pretty much every week. She's powerful, agile, and has the technical abilities in that ring that is a mark of the Hart family. Oh, and she's the daughter of WWE. Uh oh. Jim the Anvil. Tyson for something big here. Oh, shit. What the hell? Just look at the mug on her face. She is pissed. Oh, shit. Look at this. Do. Oh! She's trying to eliminate Daniel Taylor here. Daniel has nothing else left here at this point. And Daniel's been fighting. She's at least trying to fight here. And that big time backbreaker. And now pushing, pushing against the spine of Daniel Taylor here. And that's what she has to do. She has to keep that up. She has to keep that momentum, that pace, and everything she's going for up. Another one of those backdrops again. Where her, she has a placement, perfect placement there, keeping Daniel Taylor from fucking making, from getting out of that backbreaker like she could anyway. Taking her time here, Daniel Taylor. Don't want everything here. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Set up for something big! Set up for something big! Go! Danielle got that fucking kick there, using like they said, using those long legs to get a get a possible victory here tonight. Daniel Taylor going to the top. She's battered and beaten, but she still has enough to go for that moonsault. Yes, she does. She got all of it. Going for the pin. Referee. One, two. No, oh, and she kicked out a two to Natalia. Holy shit. <clears throat> and now Daniel Taylor on top of all oh, top of the world here. And that's what I mean. Daniel Taylor is so damn good. She can turn it around in a matter of seconds. And mind you, Natalia's been beating her ass since the start of this thing. Oh, kick right to the face of Natalia. And now Daniel Taylor now taking advantage yet again. Oh. 
just clobbering her with those shots back and forth, those fucking hands, throwing them, throwing them, throwing them. Oh, reverse the kick there. Oof. Reversal by Natalia there. Oof. What the hell? Drop kick. Simple and easy. Danielle getting things done here, and she knows. She knows she doesn't have a lot left at this point. Up to the top here, using that, using those legs again. Oh, that clothesline taking her out of the sky there. And she needs to stay. She needs to stay in the tally. Not give her a second. Do not give her a second to breathe. One, two, only a two yet again. We're getting very close to that three there. She needs to keep it up. You give Natalia a second, she will fucking turn that into a fucking a year. Oh! Natalia may have this one here. Oh, reversed it. I don't know how she pulled that one off, but she did it somehow. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, shrub kick right to the face. Danielle taking advantage every second, like I said, every second she gets, she fucking puts in. Look at this. Send it forward again, and she may have it this time. Oh! She's setting up. She's setting up, but she's setting up for that neck breaker, that spin neck breaker. She may have it. She may have it. Listen, she got all of it. Look at this. Oh, she got it. Referee. Isn't it enough to come to tell you here, though? Referee. One. Two. Three, and it's over. Who's stopping this girl? I have no idea who's going to pull it off. Somebody has to do it. But right now, Danielle is on top of the goddamn world. I say it every week. She's on top of the world. She has just as many victories as Yamashita has in, in championship holding. I think she's actually held the championship a little bit longer than uh, Yamashita's held her, has the Divas Championship. But nevertheless, you got to give credit. You got to give credit to both Natalia and Danielle here. That match was amazing. Back and forth. And you saw that Natalia was taking most of this match from the start. She had this thing going her way from the start. But Daniel Taylor turned it around when she got back in the ring. Once she got back in the ring, we saw a whole different pace turn. And that pace was turned into Daniel's fa favor there. And holy shit, what a match this was. That first one right there, that Andy by Nature, the first one, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. And you saw, you saw still the resiliency, the resiliency to kick out. Even after all that, and Danielle fucking got it done. Danielle was setting up for that fucking swinging net breaker. It's like a suplex net breaker, actually. And she got all of it. Simply amazing. What an amazing move by Daniel Taylor there to make that three. All the credit in the world, man. Great match between these two. But a big victory here for Danielle. Holy shit. That was nasty. That match was nasty. Anyway, guys, up next, Summer Rae takes on Naomi. Can Summer Rae get a victory over Naomi? Or will Naomi impress us all with the victory here tonight? We'll see what happens up next. Summer Rae versus Naomi. Get ready for it. The hell's going on here already? Oh, is it? Is it her? It is. She's coming. Yeah, Machida taking her time to get down here. The Divas Champion. But it looks like she's here to stir up trouble for one of the Divas. Yeah, trouble is an understatement, Michael. Did you see her reaction? Well, never mind that. I hear them saying things that I can't repeat on TV. This match is going to be trouble. Summary takes on Naomi here. This one's me nasty. I mean, we just saw, we just saw Yamashita come out here, giving her trouble. Oh, and I think Naomi knows exactly what she's doing here. She's trying to get Summary and Yamashita to to get in with each other here, trying to have them compete so she can keep the mind 
of Samurai on Yamashita. And just as much as Samurai's mind is on Yamashita, Yamashita is also on the mind of Samurai. Because you gotta realize this, no matter what happens until pay-per-view, Yamashita is champion. And that's what, that's what Samurai is just as mad about than anything. She knows that Naomi or anyone else is not going to have a shot at the championship, but she still, she still has to worry. Oof! Going for that pin there, simple and easy. Let's see if she has it. One. Only one count. But she has to worry about Yamashita because Yamashita can get things going in a matter of seconds. She needs to get her, self, her, momentum, her momentum up as well. Summer uses her classical dance pivot to nail opponents with a spinning heel kick. Her leg strength to drive them to the mat with an inverted leg drop. And her technique to slap on the dreaded Indian Deathlock. Summer Rae getting things going here. Reverse mat slam taking Naomi down there. Naomi is fucking hurt. That one, that was nasty. Ooh. Naomi fighting though. Reversal there by Summer. Oh, Summer turned around. Oh, that jaw breaker. And you gotta think that the high, the taller Summer is, the more that hurts. Oof. Oh, spinning heel kick out of nowhere. Naomi turning things around here, and that was amazing. He gives opponents a lot to think about before signing on the dotted line. Well, this is a classic example. Oh, using that power there. And we may have this one in the bag, but she needs to keep on Summer Rae. She needs to realize also, like I said before, that Summer Rae's mind is not totally on this match here. Her mind is on Yamashita. Her mind is on that championship, that Divas championship that Yamashita recently earned. She wants to be the second person to hold that in this season of, of Universe Mode. She just very well may do it, but Summer needs to stay on Naomi, and Naomi needs to turn things around here before it gets too, too late. But right now, she's just getting her ass beat right now by Summer. Summer taking her time with her, too. Summer is not exactly going for big-time moves. She's kind of using things to take Naomi off her game. Which isn't always which isn't always usual from uh from Naomi. Naomi's usually in this from the start to the finish. But right now, she needs to stay. She needs to stay on Summer. And Summer needs to keep pushing. Chip away. Chip away at Naomi. And that's how you're going to win this one here. Oof. Reversal there by Summer A again. Doing what brought her to the dance in the first place. Defeating Naomi. Back at uh, Divas Extreme Expose in that battle royale. So get herself a shot at, this, at the championship here. And Naomi easily kicks out at one. Oof. Alright, now Summer. Going using that moose set there. Oof. Just fucking choking her out with that foot there. Those long limbs of Summer Ray. And a lot of the taller divas here. Oof. Well, can be at times harder to stop than the, the shorter ones because they're so damn tall. They stir so quick and they can get up to the top just fast. Naomi did there. Elbow drop again, taking out. Summer right here. Look at this. Oh, that's not even how that should happen. Yamashita outside. I don't know if that's me, but that chair, that chair seat looks really long. Now it's spilling into other matches. Please, another time, ladies. You have a match going on. Oh! I should check if she's okay. Yamashita not getting herself into this here. Yamashita hasn't even laid a finger on <laughs> Summer Rae here. And Summer Rae now damn near on the verge of defeat at this point. Whoa. Summer Rae got clocked right in the face by Naomi. And that was a cheap shot. And especially when you get punched in the face, you don't know about it. It takes just as much damage as anything else. Ooh. Naomi wants to take advantage here. She just may have it. Let's see what she got. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she got it. She got it. Is it enough? Referee. One, two, three. And it's over. Summer. <laughs> Naomi with a big time win here over Summer Rae. Holy shit. You talk about turning things around. And that's exactly what we just saw there. 
Summer was kind of trying to bring it back a little bit, but got uh, taken off guard. And like I said, Yamashita is in the mind of Summer Rae, and it shows that it's not a one-sided victory. One-sided, uh, I guess I would say a, a double. This is a double-edged sword here, a double-sided sword here. It's not just Summer Rae into the mind of Yamashita. Big time win here for Naomi, and she got to be happy as hell with a big time victory over Summer Rae, a number one contender for the Divas Championship. I mean, that's got to be amazing, and you just, hey, you never know, Naomi could be your next Divas Champion, but we'll find out soon enough. Up next, though, in our third match of the night, Paige takes on Alicia Fox. J.P. York is always around somewhere. You got to watch out for J.P. York. But right now, Paige has to focus on Alicia Fox. We'll find out who wins that match up next. Will it be Paige or will it be Alicia Fox? We'll find out. Get ready for it. Uh-oh. Oh, is it, is it her? It is. She's coming out here. We, we just saw this. We just saw this cutscene. What's, go, what's going on, game? But it looks like she's here to stir Still let it play out anyway. And do Playing as Paige here as I take on Leech of Fox, and you best believe this not this not gonna this one's not gonna be easy at all. And just like the last match, JP are using that same tactic. She saw Yamashita in summer. She saw it work with uh, Yamashita there, and I think she wants to do the same thing here. It's not copying if it's effective. Not at all. Right now, Paige taking advantage of this hold here, and you talk about two great wrestlers. And yes, I said wrestlers. It is Alicia Fox and Paige. Paige has been wrestling since forever. She's still very young. And Alicia Fox is fucking amazing in that ring. If you ever see her compete seriously, she's really fucking good. And Alicia Fox is not going to stop until she gets a victory over Paige here. That's a lot of, lots easier said than done. Reversing that uh, rolling elbow there. Paige turning around with a reversal of her own. Clothesline taking her down. Right now, Paige on top of the world. Right now, set Paige set up for something big. Alicia Fox saw it coming. Reversing it into a suplex. Simple and easy. And that's how you do it right there. And that's why Alicia Fox is so damn good. She can turn things around in a second. That's how a good wrestler does it. For sure. Alicia Fox taking advantage now. It doesn't even look like a sweat has been broken. Oof. Punch escape by Paige. Paige's quickness continues to impress me. Wow, that overhand punch. Oh, right to the fucking leg there. You saw. You saw the long legs of Sir Alicia Fox gets taken right back down. That was nasty. And Alicia Fox now using those same legs to fucking fight back into an upright position here. Going for that super kick there. And Alicia Fox saw it coming. And now taking advantage. We've seen her put away some of the absolute best with that move, including Beth Phoenix. Ooh. A hard throw into the corner. Uh oh. Hey, don't look now. JP, you're waving Paige onto the outside here. If you, if Paige know anything, she should know that we just saw this cutscene happen a minute, a few moments ago. And oh my goodness, a clock right to the face. JP could even raise a finger. Ow, I hit my arm on the table. <laughs> Fuck. And Paige getting beat here. Oh. Paige trying to end this one here. On the outside. Jeez. That could be it right there. That could be academic. A freeze like, what the fuck? Don't push me. Page Scream, this is her house. She's not done yet. Oh, swatted away. And Alicia Voss may be set up for that scissors kick or something even worse. You don't know. Alicia has so much in her arsenal here. Oh! 
Look at this. Look at this. It could be over right here. Oh, my goodness. Planted into the ground. Is it enough, though? Referee, one, two, three. Oh, she kicked out of two. We've seen the resiliency from Paige before, and that kid, that is definitely in right now. It's definitely shown in this match here. After just getting attacked by Isha Fox at the end, and now, what the fuck? I ain't even trying for that. Fuck that. Alicia Fox going for something dirty there. Got cut off there. Oh my goodness. The strength on Paige is amazing though. Paige showing that fucking... That resiliency like I said before. And now Paige going for, uh, for it again. Look at this. Oh she got a second time here. Using that fucking core strength to hold up Alicia Fox. After everything she's taken in this match here. And now Paige wants to set up. Paige wants to set up. Paige wants to set up for that fucking... Oh, she got it with the Rampage. Sorry, Paige Turner. One, two, three. And this one is over. And Paige turning things around here with a Paige Turner. Now it's fucking... You, you gotta give credit for Paige sticking in that one against Alicia Fox. After taking a move like this, I don't know how anyone would kick out, but Paige made it happen. Not many kick out from that move there, and it shows. And it shows in the, in the resume of Alicia Fox, but Paige here tonight had just a little bit extra in her. Just had a little bit extra in her there. Even, even after everything from there too, you saw Paige, and the referee didn't see the dirty pin there. And somehow Paige, even with the leverage not on her side, still found a way to kick out of that. But it wasn't until that Paige, turn, that Paige Turner hit right there. And she got the one, two, three, that it was over. Paige amazing in this match. And who's going to stop this girl, man? She is bringing it. Up next, though, Sofia Martinez takes on Angela Lopez. I'll talk more about this match when it happens. It's up next on Divas. We haven't seen Sofia Martinez action for a while, actually, but she has a chance here tonight taking on Angela Lopez. Angela Lopez getting a big time victory last week, and uh, it. It, it was it wasn't easy by any means, but Angela Lopez has a lot of experience in the, in the world of wrestling here, and Sofia Martinez just starting up in a way. Since Sofia Martinez starting up a few a couple years back, and she's trying to find her, her find her spot here. Oh, I've never seen that one before. But that's pretty fucking cool. That she picked her up, that she got her down that way, and was able to get into a. Oh, a position of doing something big, and you saw right there that one big boot turned everything around. That Sophia, that uh, Sophia Martinez had going here. That was amazing. Going for the pin here, using that, using that little bit of leverage that she has there, making sure that Angela fucking that uh, Sophia. Oh, will waste a lot of stamina here in this match, and again kicking out at one. Don't want to get caught with that big boot again. Sofia Martinez being a little more aware now. Swatted away. Send up some big. Sofia Martinez though. Oh, she saw it coming. Got herself right back in a nice position here. Drop kick again, getting swatted away. Angela Lopez has, has been there and done all that before. Oh, went for the fucking and cross body though, and Sofia Martinez using that wherewithal though, and that's what it, Sofia Martinez has a little bit more than most divas here on the roster. Was very damn close to winning that inner kind of sorry the divas television championship. Very damn close to winning it. Had an amazing match. Had an amazing match with Danielle Taylor. Had an amazing match. If you haven't seen that, please go back and check that out. I think that was week. The second week of uh, Divas, I, I believe it, it should have. It should be. It was. It was amazing. Oh! And Lopez using that fucking athleticism there, 
Setting up some big back body drops. Simple and easy. Throwing her right back down for the pin. Using that strength that she has here. Oh. Not that it was a three there. I know. I seriously thought it was a three. Oh. That was fucking crazy. Angela is not fucking around here. Using that cross body that she knows very well. If you if you know Angela Lopez, she's very good cross body. She can dive. She can move. Oh. Getting things going, but Sofia Martinez still still trying to get it back up to a good position here. Oh. No. Oh. Simple and easy. Oh. Setting up. Setting up. Look at this. Oh. It is a big move, and this may be it. This may be it here. As Lopez set up for something big, and I just don't see her do it. You don't see her go for stuff from the top, but she can do it. When I say she can do it all, she can do it all. She can get, she can high fly, she can get grounded, she can do it all. She can strike, she can grapple, she can do everything. Oh my goodness. So Fima Tennis has not gotten anything going since the start of this thing here. Oh! After that big boot, that was more than likely it, and you saw Sofia Martinez turn things around there. You kind of felt that feeling of her turning things around. Oh, swatted away. Angel Lopez needs to watch out here because now Sofia on top of the world here. Big time spin out power bomb there. Kind of John Cena esque comeback there, and Sofia now turns to take advantage here. Oh, sunset flip is the air one. Two! No, oh, she kicked out of two. Sofia Martinez now can get on top of the is on top of the world here, and she needs to stay on top. Spinning wheel kick to the face. And Lopez not done by means get it, reversing that kick there and getting herself on the outside. Now back on the inside here. Oh! As Lopez can fly, we've seen it before. Look at her go! There she goes! Oh my goodness! The leaping over the rope with no hands—that's amazing. And she's back in the ring now. Yeah, very good. Nothing good happens out on that floor. Lopez taunting a little bit, showing off. Don't get yourself in trouble though. The Latina sensation herself, Angela Lopez, is here, and she wants to prove to everyone that she can be she, that she can be champion soon, sooner than most. Look at this! Oh, nice arm drag there! Oh, ran right into the form, did Angela Lopez? Holy shit, this match though! Oh, staying on her, staying on her, going for the legs of Sophia. Jeez. Setting up. Oh, reversal. Oh, that form taking it down. This may be this may be where Sofia Martinez needs to be. She needs to keep her grounded, keep Angela Lopez grounded. But Angela Lopez can get ground game is just as quick as Angela as uh Sofia Martinez can. Oh, neck twist there, taking her down. Sofia Martinez needs to set up for a finish. She needs to set up quick. Look at this. Oh. Right to the eye. I don't think the referee saw it. And then the kick to the face. Oh, it kicked out at one. Not even giving her the fucking time of day here. Oof. Oh. Going for something big. No, Sofia Martinez saw it coming and turned it into a backdrop. You talk about getting going. These two are getting it going here. Reversal there. Look at this, she set up again for it. Pump handle suplex. Wasting no time to set up. Oh, Sofia Martinez saw it coming. Reversal by <laughs> Angel Lopez again. Setting up. Scoops and a slam. Going for the pin. Is it enough though? Referee. One, two, no. Oh. Did Angela Lopez let go or did Sophie Martinez kick out? The referee didn't really assume anything. Oof. Oh, man. How do you stand after an attack like this? Oh, kick to the spine. 
Something has to get going for the one of these two. Something has to get going for one of these two. Put the rest of the Divas locker room on notice. Reversal there by Sophia. Still in this somehow, some way. Oh. Oh, wait for the legs. Switching up the game. Switching up the game here on Sofia Martinez. And this could be it. Set enough for that Tiger Bomb. This could, this could be it right here. One, two, throw. Sofia Martinez kicked out at two. And Angela Lopez now beating the hell out of Sofia. She does not want her to win this thing here. And neither does. I mean, that's exactly what you don't want to do. You have your opponent win, but that's not the point. You know what I mean? Referee. And again, not out of, kicking out at one. That's, that re reversal was amazing there. Staying on Sophia is a... Oof! What you got to do. And like I said, going for those legs again is Angela. Angela can switch it up on you. Quick. Big time body splash. Going for the legs now. Or he's pulling her by the legs. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Using that submission. Sophia trying to uh, trying to get out of the thing here. Angela Lopez doesn't have a lot a lot of energy left. And neither does Sophia Martinez to keep going in a, for a, in a submission at this point. Oh, big time STO taking her down there, and that could be it right there. Referee one, two. No, oh, and she kicked out again at two. That's resiliency at its finest, and I Sophia is the one of the best resilient uh, divas we we have here in a long time. Oh. Angela Lopez taunting away here, but she don't want to. You don't want to taunt too much with it. Sophia. Sophia will fucking get quick, and she will get. She'll catch you off guard. She will catch you off guard with a damn. Oh. No, oh, I need to the gut though. May I, may I spoke too soon. I mean, Angela Lopez knows pretty damn well not to just go for anything really nilly. He's going for some big frog splash. He may have overcalculated, may have uh, miscalculated that that spot there. Sofia Martinez now taking control and taking a pin here. Oh, and she kicks out again. This is our semi main event, ladies and gentlemen. As Sofia Martinez is taking on Angel Lopez. This match is simply this is an exhibition for these two. And again, getting set up with that pump handle suplex, simple and easy. Uh oh, this could be it right here. This could be it right here. This could be it right here. Look at this again. Oh, another Tiger Bomb. Isn't enough though. One, two, three, and it's over. I keep gonna give her music. Goddamn it. <laughs> what a fucking match, man. I didn't expect Sophia to get to fucking stand it that long, but. She definitely did her, what she had to do. And it was at those times where Sophia was making a great comeback, but it just wasn't enough at the end. It just wasn't enough, but you got to give her the credit, all the credit in the world. She's resilient as a motherfucker, man. She can go all night with you. And that's that aggression, that Latin, that Latin temper coming out of Angela Lopez there. You can quickly thwart it away. By Sophia, I mean back and forth. Then how many times she get caught in that pump handle suplex there? I think she three times. There was times where I, like I said, there was Sophia was coming back, but simply wasn't enough after getting that tiger bomb in the second time. Here's your winner, the Latina sensation, Angela Lopez. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Wow. When you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like Big time win, big time win, big time win here for Angela Lopez doing what she had to do to get herself a win in this match here. And she's going to be a fucking dominating force for sure. Up next though, in our main event, Yamashita, the Divas Champion, takes on Rachel Radom in a Falls Count Anywhere match. So this might go into the favor of Rachel Radom. You never know what to expect from her. She's always all over the place. Yeah, like I said, you never know what to expect. This match is up next, though. Get ready for it in our main event. 
So our main event is Yamashita takes on Rachel Raiden. This one's going to get crazy. This is a false can anywhere match. You can win this match on the outside. You can win this match walking up the ramp. You can win this match on the top rope if you found a way to get a pin up there. Shit, you can win the match in the crowd. That was even possible. Went on the table. Referee's in the way. Get your nuts out of my face, buddy. Could win under the ring if somehow the referee could see it. Right now, Rachel Redden out wrestling Yamashita here, and that's usually not a thing Rachel Redden does pretty quickly, but the experience definitely has to go to Rachel Redden. So Yamashita, Rachel Redden says that Yamashita is lucky that Rachel Redden wasn't in, uh, the, the didn't make it to the end, or didn't get to that, shit, that shot. And it all comes down to that the, the person that you are sometimes. Sometimes just depending on who you are, it depends what shot you get. And Yamashita getting the first shot at that championship. And that turn uh and the tournament it's not the tournament. It's getting the first chance at the shot. But also, you gotta believe that Yorihime is also thinking about getting a shot at that championship as well. At the championship again as well. And so many other divas are as too. Oh, Hurricanrana here, simple and easy. Going for the pin already on Yamashita. Yamashita's not really gotten a lot of things going here. And you gotta believe, even though she got in the mind of Summer Rae earlier here tonight. Oh! Now Summer Rae's also in the mind of Yamashita there. You can see the bruises on the face of Yamashita from taking all those kicks and punches there. And these girls are tough as nails, but... There's only so many kicks and punches you can take to the face before you fucking get a knockout here. And Yamashita just staring down on Rachel Raiden. And Rachel Raiden usually the one staring down you. Got a little too close, and Yamashita took advantage there, and that's what I'm talking about. Yamashita so damn quick. Oh, double wrist lock suplex there by Yamashita, setting up quick. Oh, right to the eye there. That's usually not a Rachel Raiden thing, but Rachel Raiden will do it if she has to. If she has to get dirty, she will. And in a match like this, it's all legal. Oh my goodness! Pinball submissions, inside or outside. Everything is legal, weapons and all that, and Rachel Raiden will quickly demolish this arena in a matter of seconds to get hardcore. If she's, if there's a hardcore diva out there, any more harder than Rachel Raiden, tell her to find Rachel Raiden. Oh, Rachel Raiden can take a licking and keep on kicking. If you know what I'm saying, she can go. She can go. Oh, reversal there by Yamashita. Her Karana there. Going for the pin on the outside here. Is it enough? Referee, one, two, no. Throwing that shoulder up. Throwing that shoulder. Getting that uh, getting that shoulder off the rope there. I miss off the rope. Off the ground there. Oh. Oh, that German suplex was nasty. And again, Yamashita now taking control. This parallel snapmare. Oh, kick right to the face. Yamashita on top of the world here, getting that momentum that she needed. Oh, reversal there by by Rachel Raiden. Oh, ran right into the foot. Almost as like she was dancing for a moment. But that dance turned to a fucking lethal foot to the face. And so we gotta watch out for Rachel Raiden. She can throw those feet. Look at that moonsault. And that could be it for her, for Yamashita. What the hell? How did she get her off the ground? Look at this. Oh, backbreaker this. Simple and easy. Richard Ray now in, in, in the control of this match here. Oof. Richard Ray now to getting tossed back in the ring here by Yamashita. Yamashita making a teleporting move. That was sick. Like I said, Yamashita will get hardcore. Just as much as Rachel Raiden will. Rachel Raiden, queen of hardcore. Oh, right, getting uh, Yamashita, I mean, sorry, getting Rachel Raiden right in the leg there. Oh, oh, and the side of her head smacking off that fucking step. The steps mean nothing in this game anymore besides hitting someone with it, like, at least in the last game and the previous games, they meant something. Oh. Rachel Raiden set up for something big. What the hell is this? Oh, reversal there by Yamashita. This could be a referee. One, two. Oh, and she kicks at it too. She strikes just as hard as any other diva on the roster, maybe even harder. Oh, short on clothesline. Just when Yamashita was getting things going, taken right off her feet there. Oh, reversal there by Yamashita. Yamashita now. 
kick to the face. Yamashita on top of the world here. She needs to keep it up. She needs to keep it on Rachel Raiden here. She needs to keep it up. Look at this. Oh, she got it. Blue Thunder Bomb. Referee one, two. Oh, she kicked out at two. And Yamashita wondering what the hell she has to do to defeat Rachel Raiden here. Rachel Raiden is usually pretty beaten at this point here. But Rachel Raiden turning things around and showing that resiliency that she has. Drop kick to the spinal cord again. And Rachel Raiden now taken out of it. Oh, look at this. Sidewalk slam a rama Adopting that move from a from a, a, a best friend of hers. The hell? Oh. Okay, I know what happened. That's pretty cool that they have that, but man, that is a weird it's weird that they don't have that on there on the HUD. I did something to the game. I know. I know what I did. I could turn it back on, yeah, um, so it doesn't show me. I'm like, I thought I was doing something wrong. I was like, uh, the weapons. But I know the weapons kind of by heart, so it's not a big deal. But man, if I didn't, I'd be like, oh, let's get something from under the ring, I guess. Oh, she was coming into the ring, got cut off quick. Rachel Raiden turned things around here with that fucking table. I mean, if things weren't already turned as it was, that was nasty. Reversal there by Yamashita. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Catching the back on that fucking step there. Tossing her onto that table. And I thought, I think Yama, I think uh, Rachel Ray was going to go to the top of the ladder. But she doesn't have, she, doesn't, can't, she, she cannot have a lot left in her. Remember, this is a no disqualification match. Oh! Rachel Raiden fucking setting things up here. Oof! Gutted like a fish there. Rachel Raiden going to the top. The top rope here. She may have this, whatever the hell she's going for. Oh my goodness! Did you see the damage that both of them took there? And that could be it for Yamashita Referee! Two and she kicks at it too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event as Rachel Ray takes on Yamashita. Yamashita, the Divas Champion, and she has to think about Rachel Ray here tonight, and she also has to worry what the hell. Oh, she has to worry also about Summer Ray, and now Rachel Ray making that mistake there, getting caught up trying to do something crazy, and now Yamashita taking advantage. Reversal there. Go! Almost tossed into the the, the barricade there. Oof! The Using that strength, oh, to toss it back in the ring. Oof! We just saw Rachel Raiden smash. I mean, smash Yamashita through a table, and Yamashita kicked out at very early too. Rachel Raiden, not, not a fucking slouch by any means when she gets in the ring. She can get going. Oh! Once again, thank you for tuning into this Divas match. I would never even think of tuning out of a Divas match. Look out. Using that fucking athleticism that, she, the athleticism that she has to get herself in this. And Rachel Raiden now clotheslining Yamashita over the top. And Yamashita has not gotten anything going her way since the start of this thing. Rachel Raiden on top of the world here. Big time. Oh! Big time suicide dive pushing Yamashita damn near across the arena here. Yamashita fucking out on her feet. Rachel Raiden fucking taunting away here. And all the debris in this ring. Rachel Raiden is just sitting through all the chaos here. And Rachel Raiden simply is chaos. Yamashita trying to figure out what she has to do to de defeat Yamashita. Oof. Rachel Raiden here. Look at this. She may have it here. Look at this. Oh, she got it. Rachel Raiden going to the top here. Elbow drop from the top. That could be it on Yamashita here. Referee one, two. 
Oh, and Yamashita kicks at it too. There's something, there's something in Yamashita that makes her kick, that makes her still kick in this match after everything she's taken. And look at this. Oh my goodness, the back of her fucking, her, the, her fucking neck smacking off Ra Raiden's fucking knees. And it's not like Raiden has any knee pads on, like that would help in any way. That knee was nasty. Pump handle neck breaker there. That was gross. Oof. I'm going to fight him. Oh, spinning heel kick. That's what she needs to do. Yamashita needs to do this to keep in this one. Oof. Reversal again by Rachel Raiden. Rachel Raiden tossing Yamashita into the corner again. I don't know what else the hell... I don't know what else, what else the fucking Rachel Raiden here has. This, Like I said, this is a match where Rachel Raiden thrives in. Yamashita turning it around here. Look at this. Oh, nice arm drag there, Japanese style. More Lucha Libre, a mix of both. Going for the pin here. And a kick out at one by Rachel Raiden. This match is crazy. Raiden showing that fucking... determination to stay in a match like this. This is not an easy match to, to go through every fucking night. I give the guys credit on Pinterest Wrestling for going in hardcore matches. Because it's not easy. He's like, oh... You gotta think the Divas are just as resilient as the guys, but still, but still, even so, this is a match. This is this is a match right here. Rachel Ray on the top of the fucking world here, and now she's stuck where she doesn't want to be. Oh my gosh! And oh, the ladder just falling, just falling on Rachel Ray in here. Yeah, Machida now has to get a little hardcore. She has to get into the mind of Rachel Raiden here. She has to throw somewhere away out of her mind for a moment and take advantage. And now she's taking advantage for sure on that fucking ladder. Rachel Raiden quick to get back in it. Oh. What an attack. The animosity levels this match just continue to rise. Make no mistake. What else is left? These two girls are beating the hell out of each other here. Sorry, women. Yamashita looking as Rachel Raiden is getting another table. Oh, right to the back. She's back in the ring now. Yeah, very good. Nothing good happens out on that floor. Oh, my goodness, not again. Rachel Raiden going for something big. You know she's going for something big. You can tell in that crazy mind of hers that she has something up her damn sleeve here. Let's see what she has. Elbow drop, and she may have taken herself out of the match as well. That was gross. Still getting up, but man, that took a lot out of her there. Going for the pin again on Yamashita is enough. One, two, and Yamashita again kicks out of two. Who's stopping Yamashita at this point here? Yamashita with a parallel snapmare. Kick again. Kicking her right in the chest. And this may be it. Yamashita needs to get something going here. She needs to get something that got her in the, in the dance in the first place. Look at this spiral bomb. She, she got it. She got all of it. She got it. It's a no take of Rachel Raiden here. Referee. One. Two. No. And Rachel Raiden kicks out of two. What is it going to take? Oh, a kick. Again, reversing it. Oof. Nice, her Corona head. I mean, nice head scissors there, taking it down. And that's what she needs to do. Rachel Raiden now getting pinned here. Oh, kicking out at one. Rachel Raiden still has a lot left in her. She's going to need to bring something big. One more big time move, just like that again. Yamashita needs to do that. And I assure you, I assure you, Rachel Raiden will be out for sure if she can get another time, big time move. But right now, this seems harder than anything. Rachel Raiden going to the top again here tonight. Oh my gosh, right on the end, right on the head. Right on the back of the head of Yamashita. And usually when you're on, on your back, you can see somebody diving on you and kind of brace for the impact there. But Yamashita didn't even, there was no, at no point could Yamashita see that coming. This match is fucking crazy. And you talk about hardcore. Oh my goodness. Right onto the ladder there. Again, Yamashita fucking taking it. Oh, reversal there. Oh, that's what she needs to do. 
Nice reversal there by Yamashita and drop kicking her right off the fucking ladder there. She needs to do this. She needs to keep it up. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen. If you're if you're new here, Yamashita, our Divas champion. Oh! Taking on Rachel Redden. Reversal again there by Rachel Raiden on top of the world. Oh, reversal by Yamashita. Yamashita again, Snapmare takedown here. Now choking out, choking out Rachel Raiden here. Trying to get something away. Trying to get the breath away from Rachel Raiden. Because if Rachel Raiden gets anything going, Yamashita will definitely get lose this match for sure. But she needs to keep up on, ya on Rachel Raiden here. She needs to keep up on, on Rachel Raiden. Do not give up. Do not give up. And that's, that's what we see here from, oh. That's what we see here from Yamashita every week, regardless of wins or losses. But she hasn't any losses yet. Look at this. Blue Thunder Bomb. She got all of it. Is it enough to take out Rachel Redden? A one, two, three. She got the victory. How often do you see a good match like that? And you see her quivering there all at the end. Because that was fucking amazing. How much damage did Yamashita take before she got a victory there over Rachel Raiden? And then you've got to give it to Rachel Raiden for showing from the start to the end of this thing that she had what it took. To stand there with a champion nonetheless. Experience or not, Yamashita got the victory. And this is early on in the match there. Actually, I think that was the first fall. And from there and on out, I mean, we saw Yamashita bringing it. That parallel snap by kicking her right in the face. We've seen that, uh, that, match, that move a few times here tonight. Yamashita bringing it from start to finish, and we saw there that Yamashita was trying to get something going. And oh, that's back heel kick taking her down, and back and forth between these two. It seemed like Rachel Raiden was unstoppable, and in matches like this, Rachel Raiden thrives, thrives in matches like this. Where it gets hardcore, when it gets chaos, when it gets to the point of grit and blood and fucking tears and everything. You gotta give it to Rachel Raiden. But Yamashita, Yamashita. Pulling out that fucking one more blue thunder bomb and she got all of it there and it was enough It was just enough to keep Rachel Raiden down for a three and it was over. What a fucking match I'm telling you this match was on fire man these two brought it from start to finish and you talk about a main event That was a main event for sure What a night altogether for divas. I think this is what our Pretty damn good night. I think it was one of the, the better nights of the usual uh, nights, and it was a lot better than a week ago when we had the tag team match. That was it was that was hectic. So I mean, this is a big time improvement since last week, but big time win there for Yamashita, the Divas Champion. Like I said, you still should be thinking about Summer Rae, and you gotta believe that Summer Rae is gonna be pissed about earlier tonight when she was when she lost to Naomi because of Yamashita, the Divas Champion. So you gotta think that Summer Rae is gonna fucking have some kind of rebuttal for that. But that's up next week. We'll see what happens then. But up next is Pure Intense Wrestling. Get ready for it. It's gonna be out of control. And as always, guys, comment, like, subscribe. If you're new here, please go back and check the old stuff out that I do as well. Please go back and check 2K15 out. Just skim through it, see what you like. There's a few good matches out there. I'll put some high. I'm gonna start doing highlights of like playlists and highlights and stuff like that, so you guys can see the matches that I really enjoyed um, last year. You know, guys, don't have to like search through fucking 126 episodes of Universe Mode to find a good episode. You know. So with all that said and done, as always, guys, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Until then, peace out and good shit.